This is a Edelbrock. I know it looks like a Rochester, but it's not. These were uh, 795 CFM with electric choke. It's got all the linkage for the kick down for automatic or manual transmission. And what else has it got? It's a number, what is it, number 19? 1903. 1903. Give me the numbers on the side there. That the Corvette guys always want to know what those first four numbers is. Uh, 8906. 8906. Corvette, I don't know why they want to know that, but I saw in the Corvette forum they wanted to know that 8906. That corresponds with the 1903, which is a tag. Which, where'd the tag go? Long gone. No, they lost it. But anyway, it's a 1903. We can verify that. Okay, let's start it up. See if it'll start in the rain. Hey, it started in the rain. Of course, it's not a garage. It ought to. Okay, let's wait until the computer gets warmed up. The lights go out. That means it's calculating. The radiator sure feels warm and nice. Okay, okay, okay. I'm waiting for there's one more light. And that light is now out. Okay, we can start doing our testing. <laughs> Alrighty, kicking them back four barrels in there, making them bark a little bit. Okay, he just put the dyno on. That means all the fat guys just jumped in the car. It's simulating a pull, like you'd pull a car up a hill with a flat tire on it. Loaded full of fat sumo wrestlers who just got done eating six 15 inch pizzas a piece. And a case of Coca Cola. Well, she's pulling like a mule. One more thing and I'm getting ready to get this thing. I'm ready to put this thing for sale. This thing will go on eBay real quick. We've had to get $4,000. Wait a minute. $4,000? Now you've got too many zeros. We've to get around at least 400 Okay, thank you and have a good rainy day here in Houston.